Hello, my name is Michael. For the last six years, I do data analysis and develop computational pipelines at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. Today, I'm going to present you a set of CWL tools that will make your single cell data analysis much easier and way more reproducible. Before we get to the actual workflows, just a few words about single cell technology. I will use droplet-based single-cell RNA-seq as an example. One of the biggest advantages of using a single-cell approach is being able to estimate cell-specific changes in the transcriptome. By attaching barcoding bits to every cell, we are able to identify cells of origin for all sequence fragments and obtain gene expression profiles for every cell. Collected gene expression data is usually saved in the form of feature barcode metrics that is used for cluster analysis, subsequent cell type assignment, optional trajectory inference, differential expression, and composition analysis. However, with a variety of tools and packages currently available for single-cell data analysis, we often face problems of limited portability, poor reproducibility, and lack of metadata, especially when we work on a long-running project in collaboration with other researchers. The solution to most of these problems is to use an open standard for describing analysis workflows and tools. Our lab chose common workflow language for that purpose. The majority of commonly used tools for single-cell data analysis are written in a form of R or Python packages, which are not runnable from the command line. That imposes barriers to the users who would like to perform analysis, but don't possess the required programming skills. To solve this problem, we created a set of reliable, well-documented, configurable, and executable R scripts to cover most of the common tasks in single-cell data analysis. Moreover, to guarantee reproducibility of the research conducted with our scripts, we containerize them and wrapped in CWL format. CWL stands for Common Workflow Language, which is a standard for describing tools and pipelines in a simple human-readable form. Each tool description supports execution in an isolated runtime environment. It includes a formalized set of inputs and outputs which allows for combining of tools into workflows. As a result, we have a set of tools that can be chained together to form various pipelines for single-cell RNA, attack, and multi-home sequencing data analysis. The workflows and tools produce publication-ready plots, tab-delimited tables, interactive visualization based on the UCSC cell browser, and R data files for in-depth analysis if needed. To assess reproducibility and interoperability of our tools, we combine them into single-cell RNA-seq pipeline and run it in several workflow execution environments that support CWL specification. All runs finish successfully and produced identical results in a reasonable time. As a real use case scenario, we applied our single-cell RNA-seq pipeline in the study of pancreatic cancer differentiation. The results of the project have been recently published in the STAR Protocol Journal. In that study, we jointly analyzed five single-cell datasets three from the classical cancer and two from the basal subtype. Here we see some of the figures produced by the first step of the data analysis workflow. The aim of that step was to remove low-quality cells based on the calculated QC metrics. These plots show genes versus transcripts per cell correlation, as well as the total number of cells per dataset before and after filtering. The next step was to integrate datasets together and reduce dimensionality. Two plots shown here display UMAP before and after running datasets integration. The main idea of this step was to make cells that have similar gene expression profiles appear in the same area on UMAP even if they came from different datasets. That's a required step for proper cell type identification. On the right side of the slide we can see interactive visualization based on the UCSC cell browser. It can be used for assessment of integration results. Once we finished with the dimensionality reduction and obtained UMAP, we moved to the cluster analysis. In this step, we cluster cells using an array of different resolutions. For each resolution, we identify gene markers and build multiple gene expression plots. Altogether, it helped us to select the resolution that corresponds best to the cell types we expect to see in our datasets. Here we see clustered UMAP and average expression plot for genes of interest. The results of this step can be used for differential expression or differential composition analysis, which are not covered in this talk. To sum up, I would like to mention that I briefly discussed only 3 out of 18 available tools. I am planning to extend this list with the other tools to provide alternatives to CellRanger as well as to cover several other types of multi ohm analysis. In the end, all of the developed tools will be contributed to the BioCWL tools repository. 
I would like to thank all of the Barsky Lab members who helped me in the development and validation of the single cell pipelines.